Okay, this is Sarah, who has brought a group of people to Belton or Cottage today as part of Vegan Village, which has been a fundraiser for one of the cancer charities. Irish Cancer Society, yeah. Irish Cancer Society. And uh, the challenge was to go vegan for... For a week. For a week. But some people are going to go, because we haven't quite reached our, our target, so some people are going to go until we reach our target. Right. So another, we're going to do another week and see if you're there. So what's the target then, Sarah? Uh, 1,500 euros. So we're at 12,000, or 12, sorry. That's <laughs> 1,200. <wrong>. 1,200. <laughs> we're 1,290 and 96 cent. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> so anyone who cares to make a little donation can do so through my website and I'll make sure I get that to Sarah. So, um, anyway, how many people turned up? today Sarah? There was six of us. Six and um, so I made a lunch we called it um, uh, the wrap up. The wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> so we had some lovely <coughs> and uh, oh sorry about that that's Jack because this is another <coughs> Ursula. Ursula. Ursula's just coming round. Just taking photos. Okay. Uh, so Ursula, Ursula is one of the <laughs> is one of the attendees. Vegan villager. <laughs> Another vegan villager. So anyway, we were sat here, um, just just kind of enjoying the vibe really, and um, all the rest has gone home, and uh, Sarah started to sing a song. And this is why I've gone in and got the camera and come back and I'm making this little video because I'd really love Sarah to sing this song again. So Sarah, I'm going to get you to introduce this song because it has a really interesting kind of evolution, how it's come about. Yeah. So I, it's a song that the words are by George Orr Martin from the Ice and Fire series, which people know as the Game of Thrones now which has been made into the tv series but i i when i read it it just moved me so much because i was involved in activism and i was involved in raising money at that time for um for tribes for tribal people um and uh, i was seeing what was what's going on and what's still going on as tribal tribal people the original tribal people trying to preserve their cultures are being pushed off and burned out and anyway at all with the pipeline the other day yeah the dakota pipeline and all yeah. of that going on so at the time i was raising money for that i was very aware of all of that act for palestine and things like that yeah and so it really touched me and i put music to it mm -hmm. and i wanted to and i sang it earlier and what i said was because because we're the last of the giants after the wonderful tour you gave me about and talking about the land and you know clinging on to the natural way of being on the planet yeah so yeah. if i can get the key it's oh i am the last of the giants my people are gone from the earth the last of the great mountain giants that ruled all the world at my birth. Well, they've stolen. Oh my goodness, I've lost the words. I need to relax. It's all right. You take your time. Oh, I am the last of the giants. My people are gone from the earth. The last of the great mountain giants that ruled all the world at my birth. The small folk have stolen my forests, and they've stolen my rivers and hills, and they've built a great wall through my valleys, and fished all the fish from my rills. In stone halls they burn their great fires, 
In stone halls they forge their sharp spears, while stay walk alone in the mountains with no true companion but tears. They hunt me with dogs in the daylight, and they hunt me with torches by night. But these men who are small can never stand tall, whilst giants still walk in the light. Oh, I am the last of the joyous, so learn well the words of my song, for when I am gone the singing will fade, and the silence will last long and Powerful, absolutely Woo! powerful. Thanks, Sarah.